And this is when planning comes in very handy. Um, we cannot find a campground to stay at. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we got to hang out with some pretty darn cute buffalo and custer. We sent the kids off to cooking camp while we were at Hart Ranch, and we did the obligatory touristy thing by visiting Mount Rushmore and seeing all of its greatness. Kyle tried to tackle his fear of snakes, but he wouldn't walk past one. Let's see what's going on this week. Hey everybody, we are uploading this video with Nomad Internet. If you want some details on how you can score $30 off, look down in the description below and you can get connected just like us. So I don't know if you guys know or not, but I am absolutely terrified of snakes. Like I'm more fearful of snakes than great white sharks, dinosaurs, pretty much anything else in this world that could kill me. Today they dragged me to a place called Reptile Gardens here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Supposedly it's one of the largest reptile exhibits in the world. We're gonna go check it out and bring you guys with us and probably see me get scared a little bit, so. What is that? Bald eagle. Bald eagle? He has hair, he's not bald. Did you guys know that a bald eagle mother will kick a baby out of the nest if it doesn't look into the sun? What do you think, Mo? Just a bird? Snake. You want a snake? Holy cow, look at that thing. She's big and beautiful. She's got her quite She's a, a array. She's a big, beautiful She's a daisy. We're in order from youngest to oldest. <laughs> yep. So right here we have Hugo, who's 18, Penny, who is 15, and then Peabody, who's 14. You can pet them? Yeah, you can call them pet them. You can pet their shell. You can also pet their... Have their neck, their arms, and stuff. Because we're a little size, we wait duck in when you try and pet them. What do they feel like? They're just like when I don't put lotion on my skin. That's kind of what it feels like. Do you love them? Yeah. You want one? I don't think he'll fit in the bus. No. He's so sweet. He's so cute. I want that. Are children gonna pop up? I don't know. Maybe they got lost. Look at that thing. What, what is that? Look at a funny looking fella. Oh. Yeah, there's birds in there. Birds of prey. I love your outfit. Oh, the hat, the earring. The tattoo's cool too. It's not talking. Maybe you don't want to talk. There's a snake in a tree. And Kyle's refusing to walk by it. The snake in a tree, refusing to walk by it. Dad, what is that? I don't know. Big old python. Python? Just saw my first snake, and it freaking scared the <laughs> out of me. So I had to turn around and go back out the entrance door. It was a sweet. I'm okay if they're like in a cage or in a, uh, in a aquarium, but I don't, I don't like being close to them things. They scare the crap out of me. Another snake. And there's another one in the tree. Gotta get the glare out. Oh god. Hell no. Look at that thing. A timmer python. Look at his head. That's a that's a python? Ugh. Forest cobra. Oh it doesn't make you just like your skin crawl. God, they make me sick. There's a cotton mouth. Oh, oh. rhinoceros viper? Nope. Nope. I'm good. Are they so awesome? No, they're not awesome at all. Look at him. He looks like part of the plant. See, you guys can have a plant like that in your rig. I was a brick at that point. It looks like a plant. It's only mildly venomous. He's so cool. Rattlesnake. Give me anxiety attack. Burmese pythons. Looks like he's eaten recently. Oh, look, it looks like it's been eaten lately. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm gonna have nightmares for days. <laughs> oh look, there. See, there's the one that scared me to death. So a black mamba. Oh my 
Uh, I just, if I ran across that in the wild, I would die of a heart attack. This is all we hopefully have to face here. Non-venomous, harmless. That guy's harmless. Non-venomous. Oh, they do have another venomous. Oh, it's a rattlesnake. Look how tiny it is. Oh, wow. There's three. There's three. There's three. Blair is not my friend. <laughs> Got some customers. I know. They're ready to eat. You're not. Yeah. All right, Molly. You got it. All right, so I think that's gonna do our time here at Reptile Gardens. I'm gonna have nightmares for at least a good six months now. Yeah, Kyle's gonna be pretty afraid, but I am proud of you. Well, that was quite an impressive snake collection. I don't think I've ever seen a snake collection like that anyway. It had some of the deadliest snakes in the world. It was creepy. It was in the middle of South Dakota. And Uncle Garrett made it through with the uh, offspring, so it was a positive day. Barely. 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 We got a few souvenirs. I think we're all hungry. We're gonna go grab a bite to yeah. eat, and we'll catch up with you guys later. What a day. What a day. Unfortunately, our time here at Hart Ranch is coming to a close. We've been trying to rebook for the last couple of days to try to extend our stay, but they just don't have anything, which is understandable. I mean, it's, it's campgrounds packed. If you get the chance to stay at Hart Ranch Camping mm -hmm. Resort near Rapid City, South Dakota, don't pass up that chance. This is an awesome campground. Yeah. It's one of our top two campgrounds yeah, that we've ever been to. Yeah, it's a good campground. I'm, I mean, I'm sure we'll be back someday. We met an awesome friend, Garrett. Let me tell you, he is phenomenal. And I met at Wind Down Wednesday, and we sat there and talked for like two hours. We've been hanging out pretty much every single day. Tonight, he gave us these coins. He's in the military, he's in the Air Force, and when you want to show someone that they're doing a great job with life and so on, you give them coins. And so that's what he did for us tonight. It's cool to meet somebody. It's, you know, that's one of the most rewarding parts of what we do is meeting the people on the road, because you get to meet people from all different walks of life, from all over the world. It's a lot of fun. It was truly a blessing to get to hang out with him, get to know him. He hung out with the kids today. He <laughs> is their unofficial gunkle at this point. We got an early day tomorrow. Got to get out to our boondocking spot, get packed up from here. Leaving a luxury behind and get back out in the wilderness a little bit. We got a pretty good spot picked out. It's going to be a little rainy next couple three days I think but the weather is definitely gonna be a lot cooler I'll take you guys along with us we're gonna we're gonna get to bed and we'll see you guys later good night all right you guys we are headed out Kyle's emptying the multi-purpose tank right now and then we're gonna be on our way our first stop though is gonna be Walmart Kyle's got to go in and get some shopping stuff because where we're boondocking they don't have any Walmarts around there. We've got to get the dog's food, we got to get a few things, and then we will actually be on our way. Hopefully this boondocking spot is awesome. Kyle found it, I think, on Campendium. So we'll let you know what it looks like when we get there. Let's roll. might be wondering why you're looking at the back of the bus right now. Well, that's because the GoPro battery shorted out on us and Kyle did not get you guys in the driver's seat for pulling out of Heart Ranch. So we're just pulling out of Heart Ranch, making our way down the road to Walmart, and then we can move on to our boondocking spot. But Heart Ranch was awesome and we cannot wait to come back. All right, guys, unfortunately, our time at Heart Ranch has come to an end, and um, I was going to record going out like I always do, but I go to turn my GoPro on, and one of the batteries is dead. So, nonetheless, I'll pick you guys up after this on the road, but we had to stop by Walmart, pick up some dog food, because where we're headed, there's actually no Walmarts within, like, 50 miles. We're here now. We just stocked up on a few groceries, got some dog food. I got to stop and get some fuel. I guess I can take you guys in there and show me. I, I don't know how much I need. I, I, I haven't put fuel in it in like three weeks, so I'm not really sure what I need. Yeah, this guy right here even brought me back a salad. I'm editing a video. And you wanna know why he's the real MVP? 
I can't have gluten, and he took all the croutons out of my salad. Just one of a kind, y'all. Alright, here are the fuel stop. Freaking diesel's 329. Holy crap. This sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up. It lasts us a while. We won't be driving much in the next few weeks. So. It'll only let me get 100. You know, it's more like a auto type fuel pump. So it'll only let me get 100 with 30 gallons. That's fine. I know I could probably do it again. That'll get me through the next couple of weeks. Like I said, we won't be driving a whole lot, so that'll be fine. Maybe the maybe fuel prices will go down by then. So we're gonna hop in the bus. I'll pick you guys up, get on the road. All right, we just finished filling up. We're gonna hop out here. We got a little over an hour. We're going down. We found a pretty interesting looking spot outside of Custer. Um, so we're gonna, the town of Custer, we're gonna go down there and try to boondock for a few days. Um, you know, being this close to the holiday, there's not a lot of uh, options for campgrounds right now. So we're gonna try to ride out as many days as we can off grid. So it should be fun. Uh, today is hot as Turn crap, on US but 16 truck West East Catron Boulevard. Cool. I'll show you guys here. After today, it uh, it cools down quite a bit for a few days, so hopefully it won't be too bad. If we can make it through the day. There's still a lot to see down in Custer area that I'd like to check out, um, but um, I'll uh, bring you guys back in once we get down that way. So these hills are kicking my butt. I haven't driven any inclines in a while. It's South Dakota. It's been relatively flat up until we get to the Black Hills, of course. But um, yeah, we've went about 20 miles, and man, I've got had to shift down to second two or three times already. So definitely can tell we're getting back toward the west. The inclines are steep and long, and the bus is getting a workout for sure. It's uh, 90, about 90, a little over 90 degrees today. So tough, it's gonna be a tough day to get out here, but it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I wanted to bring you guys in. This is Hill City, South Dakota. I wanted to bring you in to see the world's largest Smokey the Bear uh, carving, but I just missed that. So maybe we'll be able to catch it another day. You're not gonna reverse? You just wanna put yeah. the in reverse and catch it? Yeah, probably not gonna do that. But Rhoda, it's a cute little town. I like this better than Keystone where we were the other day. It's definitely touristy, but I, I like it. It's definitely got the old Western vibe to it. A pretty neat little town. We're only about 25 minutes out from our destination. And I just thought I'd pop in and show you guys this cute little town here of Hill City. We're in the Jeep. Bus is over there because this is the only place that we can get signal. This is when planning comes in very handy. We cannot find a campground to stay at. We got to the boondocking spot and it's just not very level and it's going to be a pain in well, the behind. a lot of other people here. Too. They kind of took the good spots. So. Yeah, there's there's not much here. Well, we're trying to call around to campgrounds and nothing. Like there's nothing. Everybody's freaking RVing now. Go after this trend increase, we're off a little bit. I will love for everybody to like that doesn't want a full time RV anymore to just get off the road because. Or the summer to end. Or the summer to end. Either one because this is this is a lot. We'll call a couple more campgrounds and figure out what we're gonna do. Well, this is one of those times, or actually for the first time in a long time, that not being a planner has bit us in the rear. We got all the way out here to this boondocking spot. Beautiful, long, nasty road. I'll show you in a second what it did to our vehicles. It's just there was nowhere for us to park. I mean, there was a few good sites, but they were all taken up. The one area that was accessible was on like a hilltop that was moderately flat, but it was packed. I and mean, there was like three or four uh, travel trailers up there, several vans, and it was just too much. But now look at our disgusting bus and tow vehicle even more so. Look at this. This road was like powdery flour, just kicking it up everywhere. Look at my mountain bikes. Everything's disgusting. You know, that's part of it. That's part of kind of traveling the way we do. You know, so we went a lot. Sorry, there's a cow uh, crossing thing there and I had to not break my ankle on, but it's just kind of part of it. You run into this sometimes and we're not big planners. You know, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. This is one of those times that it certainly did not. Hop on the road, gonna backtrack a little bit and head toward a, the area we were already in because we kind of have to hang around the Rapid City area for a few more days because we have some packages coming in we have some friends coming in. We're going to head back that way and we do have a spot we found that we can stay. It's no frills but somewhere to plug in and safe for the night for a couple days till we can kind of regroup and figure out what we're going to do. So let's hop back in the bus and uh, we'll get going. Well, we are about 20-30 minutes outside of our stop off for tonight and coming back from Custer. 
smoke my brakes again. I haven't done that in quite a while. I've cooled down quite a bit by now, but they got pretty hot. I could start, I could smell them from inside the bus. It's like, yeah, I better pull off for a few minutes. <laughs> I don't know, I just, it was a lot hillier than I thought it was and remembered it. So it ended up a little hotter than I'm comfortable with, so we pulled off here at the Safeway for a little bit, went and grabbed a few other groceries and kind of about to start back up and head back out. Bus is dirty, Jeep's dirty, my bikes are dirty, and we're not boondocking in cool spots. One of those days, you know, it's just kind of what, it's just part of it. I'm ready to get where we're supposed to go. It's after five o'clock. Been a long day for not much accomplished. We finally arrived. It looks like it's an RV dealership that has like a little campground. Uh, I'm not really sure. There's a crap load of RVs around here, but it's just starting to rain. I think me and Jen both are pretty spent for the day. So let's find out where we're gonna go and then we'll pick you guys up in a bit. We are in fact here, or where we thought we were supposed to be. We called them earlier today and it said to just pull around, but I don't know, look, we're literally at an RV dealership. So like, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. You think so? Does it say it has camping there? No, but when I go to the website, it takes me to their website. I don't know. 